Chris Payne, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management. It's great to see you. Thanks. Um, in this environment, the dividend payers are beauties. I mean, this is when you say, oh, thank goodness I have dividend stocks. Tell us more. Yeah, well, I think with the dividend stock, you know, the one thing that you can always count on is the fact that even with the market going down, you're still getting income from your investments. And as a matter of fact, a lot of companies over the next couple of weeks are going to be announcing dividend increases. So companies like Harley Davidson, uh, Duncan, Genuine Parts, which uh, they've actually increased their dividend for 63 years in a row, if you can mm -hmm. imagine that. Really? Okay, so that's pretty amazing when we look at names like that. Um, and you're talking about names that we know, brands that we recognize, that have been around for ages, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, why is that important? Well, it just goes to show you the longevity of companies. You know, they make a product that people want. They're, they have the staying power. They've been able to manage their costs. And not to mention, you know, you think about all the terrible things that have happened over the last 60 years in our country, you know, 2008, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the oil crisis in the 1970s. And these companies continually not only to uh, distribute profits, but also increase their, their distributions over time. Right. So when we look at some of these names, I mean, Tiffany's, Levi's, I mean, those are some of the names that you were Mercedes Benz. Um, I don't know if those were your, those weren't your picks, but you're just trying to make the point that they're going to stick around, right? Exactly. Like Mercedes Benz, you know, it, that's a, a great car. People know this is a great car. As a matter of fact, my mom went shopping for a car this weekend, or excuse me, this past week, and she right. was at the dealership on a Thursday, and she had to wait over an hour for a salesperson to come and talk to her. Shows you what's going on in the economy. I mean, you know, people can line up and buy Mercedes, and it's true because you see a million of them on the street. Tell me about General Motors because that's one name that I think you like that name, right? You like GM and MGM. Um, so General Motors, which actually has been hiring more salespeople too, right? Absolutely. Well, you know, the great thing about General Motors is, one, since 2005 and also through the financial crisis, they've really been able to get their costs under control. As a matter of fact, they've been able to reduce their labor costs by over 300%. And now they're really able to compete with great names like Toyota, especially in the light truck market. So, right. you know, people are really, really interested in buying their trucks and they don't they don't have to sell more volume to keep up with their profits. They're able to pay more for their trucks. And the other thing is that the P.E. ratio is much more reasonable than what we see with the high flying tech stocks. Right. I mean. It's, it's valuable where it is now. Exactly. It's trading like five times earning right now, which is very undervalued. So with the market being down and the undervalue of the company, I think it's a great buy here. Right. I understand. Okay. So we'll watch General Motors. And what about MGM? I mean, you actually like the Macau exposure that they have. Tell me more about that in Japan. Well, I'm always a fan of companies that invest in emerging markets. I think long term, that's where a lot of the global growth is going to come from. Mm -hmm. And with the fact that MGM has gotten a concession to build a casino in China in 2026, that's really positive. And then also uh, their ability to have a big presence in Macau. And they're really developing a lot of infrastructure between Hong Kong and Macau. So we're going to see a lot more tourists going to Macau and also going to these casinos. And they have a good presence in Vegas, right? They, they do. Actually, a quarter of the rooms in Vegas are owned by MGM. I happen to love Vegas. I absolutely love Vegas. So we're looking at consumer discretionary that, that pay a dividend. You can buy them at a discount. Is now the time? I mean, for some of these names, is it this week? Is it how do you propose people get into these names specifically? Well, you know, I think anytime the market's down, it's always a good opportunity to be reinvested in stocks. As a matter of fact, consumer discretionary is actually held up better than the Dow. I think the Dow is down about 5%. Consumer discretionary is only down about 3 So it's taken a lot lesser hit. But the fact that those things are down right now, companies like GM, companies like MGM, they're really at a great value at this point, And I think it's a great investment. Did you like GM and MGM more than the other names, Harley Davidson, Duncan, and um, Genuine Parts, or do you like all of them? Uh, I like all of them. I do like MGM and uh, GM in particular just because they're, they're so undervalued at this point. I see great long-term prospects for them. And do you think that this market sell off when we look back? Are we going to say, oh, that was a blessing, that was such a fantastic opportunity? Or, I mean, what's your overall market outlook and feeling? My overall sentiment about it is I think that people are going to forget this. Like, you remember what happened with the SARS a few years ago? People don't remember that thing, those things. 
But you have to remember now that the market's trading at a discount. It's a great time to get in. The market doesn't always offer these great opportunities, and now's a great time. And so many of the names, just like Sean earlier in the show said, in the S&P 500 are dividend payers, right? I mean, you, you should really look for these st kinds of stocks. Absolutely. And you know, what most people don't realize is that over time, most companies increase their dividends rather than decrease. So. I always say there's never a bad time to invest, but when the market opens the door like it has now, mm -hmm. there's, there's no better opportunity. And pick the ones that are increasing their dividends. If they're covet, cutting dividends, then you better watch out a little bit. Chris Payne, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Great advice.